What's up guys, The Golf Yogi here for Golfers RX, bringing you your weekly dose of golf fitness. Today we're going to talk about something that honestly bugs me a little bit. We've all heard it getting, getting a golf lesson. I've heard it since I was about three years old when I first got into the game. Have a straight spine. There's one problem with that. Our spines aren't straight to begin with. We have a curve in our neck. We have a curve going down into our lower back near our tailbone. So trying to have a straight spine is a little misleading, especially for golfers. I don't know anybody who could go out and play decent golf like this basically turn it into the Tin Man with this perfect straight line. We need to have a little bit of a curve into our spine. Where we get in trouble as golfers is when we have a lot of rounding. If we have bad posture, if it's late in the rounds, we're just getting a little tired and we start dumping into the shoulders a little bit. So being able to open the chest, being able to stay nice and wide is gonna help that. And truly, to get that straighter spine, if our shoulders are totally rounded, if we just pull those shoulders back, all of a sudden we're in a great position with our spine. So I've got a couple of things for you here today to start to open up into that thoracic spine, start to open up into the chest and into the shoulders so that we can maintain that posture. So the first one here, guys, you know I love squats if you've been following with us on Golfers RX for a while. I'm gonna come all the way down here into a nice low squat. We're just gonna let the arms come down into that rounding position. And then what we're gonna do here for the exercise is just start to open, just like you're gonna give somebody a big hug. So try not to let the lower body come way up when you do this. You wanna feel like you're trying to glue the heels to the floor. If they come up just a little bit, that's okay, guys. As long as you're feeling this in the mid back, up into the shoulders. Don't hold it for long once you get there. Open up, maybe just a breath or two, a few seconds, right back down. The more we get into this position, we feel like we're opening here. It's gonna help us translate that right into that spine angle in our golf swing as well. So a few of these are really, really good. And I promise after you do just five or six of them, you're gonna really feel it into the mid back, into the upper back, hopefully the shoulders a little bit as well. Another really good one in yoga, we call this either up dog or cobra. So we're gonna lay down onto the ground here. You can bring the hands just in front of the shoulders, really tuck these elbows in. We don't want the elbows really splayed. Again, that's just kind of dumping into the elbows. So you can start here, just inhale up, try to pull those shoulders back. And a good feeling here is like you're trying to pull the shoulders away from the ears. That'll keep you from kind of crunching into this. So you can inhale up, press those hands, the elbows, maybe the pelvis and the feet into the floor, right back down. You can do a couple of these on the elbows. Should feel good to you getting into that back nice and easy. Then another way here, guys, is slide those hands back right underneath the shoulders. Again, pinch those elbows into the sides. Now we're going to start to inhale up as high as it feels good. You don't have to go straight to straight arms here and then right back down. And again, pulling these shoulders back. So as we inhale up, we don't let these shoulders come forward to help us out, stay back with it. And then eventually you're gonna be able to start to get nice and high with it again. Not letting these shoulders come forward, pulling the shoulders back, staying nice and open with it. Then a couple more here for you guys. And this is kind of the same stretch. We're just gonna do it two different ways. These are called skydivers. So what we're gonna do is take these hands out nice and wide, take the feet out nice and wide, we're gonna to start to inhale and come up like we're pressing our belly button or our pelvis into the ground, and then right back down. So again, not dumping here, staying nice and wide. Feel like you've just got levers, almost like strings, pulling everything up, the feet up, the chest up, right back down. And again, not gonna dump into there at all, not dumping into the shoulders, should feel good. And again, you might feel this low back, you might feel it mid back, but what we're really looking for here is getting rid of this into the shoulder, staying nice and long with it, staying nice and wide with it. And one more guys, this is kind of the advanced pose of that last one there of the skydiver. All you do here, interlace the hands back behind you. This is really gonna pull those shoulders back. Start to inhale up again, and then feel like this fist is reaching back towards the feet. So we're not just coming up high here, we're actually reaching back with it, opening into the chest. These are a little difficult. You can probably hear it in my voice when I come up with these. So inhaling up, reaching back nice and far with it, should feel pretty good, then right back down. So again, guys, these are gonna help to keep us, or keep that rounding out of, our, out of our spine, keep that rounding out of our shoulders, hopefully keep us in a lot better spine angle all the way through our golf swing. So give these a try, guys. You don't have to do a whole lot of sets of these. You can do just a couple. You can hold them for a couple of seconds. Keep moving with them. Don't be static and just get into something and lock with it move around and again feel that chest start to open this is something that you can be conscious about during the day if you're sitting at the computer all day if you're at your desk feeling those shoulders slumped open a little bit even just reaching back interlacing those hands starting to open the chest a little bit just be mindful if we can keep those shoulders open we're we're working on our spine angle should be getting a lot better posture through it as well 
So guys, as always, if you have any questions, email me directly, mark at thegolfyogi.com. Always happy to help. Give these a shot, guys. Work on that spine angle. Go play some great golf. Cheers, guys.